So this is to let you know about a little error or feature that I found yesterday and part of the learning path I suppose that you do these things and you just learn these little things and as I learn them I will also let you know about them. So what happened yesterday then was I came to do, I came after a restart of the system, Linux and Windows. I came to come back to look at the stuff that I'd been doing. So I went to this sheet here to start and stop Apache Airflow and just followed the instructions as normal, as per normal. So what I did was this, just copied this here from a, a terminal window, then activate the conda <coughs> environment and then export the environment variable all this is usual no problem there and then initiate the database so this is where I got to this is the interesting part and it goes away and does stuff for a little while. Still doing stuff. Talking about telemetry. And then there's an unexpected end of file pass. And I thought I'd ignore this and then carry on, but then it doesn't work properly. And then I looked at it, tried to carry on, just to see if it will work, it will carry on working, but then I start getting all these errors, and first when I got these errors, I started thinking, oh my god, must be something wrong with what I'm doing, and will I have to reinstall everything? then I looked at the errors and this perhaps is the importance of actually looking into the errors well, there's lots of I mean there's lots of gobbledygook which is quite square which is quite scary sometimes but then the thing is to actually just get past that and just try to see if there is anything that you can glean from the error messages and when I looked at it more or after I initially got over freaking out, then examining it more with a little detail, I recognized something. So it's important to do that, to be able to find something that you can recognize. And I saw this bit just looked like code that I had been editing in. And I remembered that part about when initializing the database, goes and looks for all the DAG files. And that was the part where I first got funny error messages, right? Before I started Airflow, it was when I was initializing the database. All the way, where was that? Up here, where there was an end of file error. And so, that kind of made sense when I thought about it all. So where was that code that I was doing? It's in the middle of the lessons that I've been doing. So going through here, looking at the, the DAGs, there's a folder that I made in the last tutorial last part of the tutorial and I didn't finish it off and there's also a, <coughs> a py file a python file with an open with here and then it's kind of unfinished code I should have commented this out at the beginning at the end of the last tutorial last video and I should have at least left it like this. But even if I left it like this, there would still be this error. B 
because this py file is something that it tries to run when it when it initializes the database and if it doesn't make sense it will error out so these files all have to make sense so to do this I have to comment this out and I'm just going to leave this with more comments here to say that this is a deliberate comment and this is a comment just for it to allow the code to run through so now I'm going to save this and then you'll see what happens and close out of VS Code now I'm going to go back to the step where I had to initialize the database and try it again uh, Control C to just come out of this otherwise it doesn't seem to be really doing anything useful so then initialize the database this time and then start up airflow and you see this time it seems to be happier so what I will do is continue to open out another window do a similar thing by CDing to where I want to be all these normal steps to open out the scheduler then go into the export don't have to initialize the database again this is just to open out the scheduler and that all seems to work nicely and then now I can go to my local host browser just to check that the GUI is working properly the graphical user interface and there we go everything looks fine to me so that was just the an interesting thing that I wanted to tell you about. So thank you very much for watching.